Welcome fellow traders. On this channel, I evaluate popular trading strategies and backtest them on years worth of historical stock price data. Nothing here is investment advice, and I am not an investment advisor. I simply strive to provide useful information. Today's strategy is brought to us from the Trade Pro channel and was published on March 18th, 2021, entitled 76% Win Rate Highly Profitable Trading Strategy Proven 100 Trades. Please be sure to check out that video, and I've included a link in the description below. Trade Pro tested this strategy against the one hour euro US dollar 2019 price data. Trade Pro channel tested this over 100 trades and reported a 76% win rate with a 2 to 3 reward to risk ratio. This strategy involves an entry based on several indicator based rules and it has a fixed profit target and stop loss determined by multiples of the average true range. The indicators used are a 14 period average true range, an 8 period exponential moving average, a 14 period exponential moving average, a 50 period exponential moving average, and a stochastic RSI with a 14 period RSI, 14 period stochastic, a K length of 3, and a D length of 3. Here are the strategy rules. The entries for a long position. Number one, the price must be greater than the 8 period exponential moving average. Two, the 8 period exponential moving average must be greater than the 14 period exponential moving average. Three, the 14 period exponential moving average must be greater than the 50 period exponential moving average. And four, you're looking for a stochastic RSI fast cycle K that crosses above the slower D cycle. Once the trade is entered, the profit target is two times the ATR and the stop loss is three times the ATR. For short positions, the price must be below the eight period exponential moving average. The eight period exponential moving average must be less than the 14 period exponential moving average. The 14 period exponential moving average must be less than the 50 period exponential moving average. And the stochastic RSI fast cycle K crosses below the slow D cycle. Again, once the trade is entered, the profit target is two times the average true range and the stop loss is three times the average true range. Let's test it out. We'll take the one hour stock data from May 2020 to present, which as of the time of this video is September 2022. And we'll test this on the Russell 3000 index, which is basically nearly the entire market. Each chart will be loaded into memory and the required indicators will be calculated. Then the trading rules will be applied to identify each entry point. The trading simulator will then take each entry point and determine if the price action hits the profit target or the stop loss first, and will then determine the loss or gain on that trade. Each trade is calculated as a $5,000 investment and the simulator keeps track of how long each trade is and calculates the daily or yearly profit or loss if you were able to take each trade consecutively. So let's max out all 16 cores of my CPU and crunch those numbers. This run is calculating long trades only, but I will simulate combined long and short trading after this. Okay, the calculations are complete and we simulated over 411,000 trades and the equivalent of almost 4,000 years of trading. On average, this was a profitable strategy, but not wildly so, with an overall 58.5% win rate for a yearly profit of about 5%. Now a little statistical analysis is in order because obviously nobody would have been able to execute 411,000 trades in the last two years. Let's say it's more reasonable that you might have taken 200 trades in that time period, given that each trade was on average two days in duration. Let's test what it might look look like to select 200 of these trades at random, and let's run that simulation 10,000 times. That will give us an idea of the likelihood of the range of outcomes that might have occurred. The results show that statistically speaking, there was a slightly better than 50% chance that we would have had a profitable outcome with 95% of the 200 trade simulations ranging from an average loss of $24 per trade to an average gain of $30 per trade, with the median outcome being just at $2 profit per, per trade. 
Ideally, the 95% confidence interval would not cross zero, and this means that the overall average profit is not statistically significantly different than zero. What if we add the short sales? Let's run that now. With the addition of the short sales, the overall result is a small loss at 6% loss per year. Similarly, if you randomly participated in 200 of these trades, 95% of the outcomes would fall between a $30 per trade loss to a $27 per trade gain. So again, not statistically significantly different than zero. So bottom line, for this strategy, when applied to stocks, this is not a reliably winning strategy. However, this strategy produces a ton of entry signals, certainly enough that we could apply additional rules potentially to help improve the results. What additional conditions would you apply? Comment below and I'll do my best to make a follow-up video on this. Hey, if you found something useful here, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give me a like on this video and consider subscribing as I will be adding more videos on a regular basis. Thanks for watching.